Now, we could adjust these heads. We've gone through that, but we're just going to do simple pipe attachment here. In the pipe tool, we have main mode and lateral mode. We also have a drip tubing mode, which is a non-emitter drip tube. We're going to use our lateral mode to tie all of these heads together. Pretty straightforward, but there's this new tool here. This is the auto connect mode. This comes in handy. I'll describe how this works here. Let's, let's go right here. As I click one head and as I drag through these heads, I'll pull it out here so we can see the values. Double click to end. It automatically attaches to each of these heads. They are attached. To show that, let me go ahead. Let me just grab this head and let me pull this out. This is great because you can see here, it's attached to that pipe. It knows that that is connected. Let me get that back to where that was. The other thing is you're noticing that it is calculating out the pipe size and our gallons per minute based on what we have selected there. So we can do that again here. Let's do another zone, but this time let's just run those heads and let's tie this up here. Now I could tie to that head, but maybe I want to tie part way in between. That is fine, I can do that. It automatically splits up this pipe because it's recognizing this as a T. So we start to add more value in here. We start to see where we're using our water, how we're connecting different things. And again, it's adding this. Now we're at 60.64 gallons per minute. If I add more heads in here, I can connect anywhere in here that I want and it'll split that up and I'm 75.8 gallons per minute. So we can start to see how we can define different zones. One of the things here I want to show you too is let's, uh, Let's get a little funky here. Let's move this straight across. Let's make that a zone. And then let's go ahead and tie this here. And let's come right across. Well, I've got two crossing pipes here. What's nice is this automatically happens and we can define that. That's fantastic. It allows us to have crossing pipes. Always been a little bit of a headache for us. And now that can be done really easy. And again, because of the graphics capabilities here and what we can do, we can adjust the various piping if we need to and get in here, take care of that. We can change this if we wanted to. Let's go ahead. Let's just say none. Now we can select this pipe and we can move this data where we need to so it's not in the way, not obtrusive, and that works really well.